Hi, hello, welcome you all again. One more uh, clip of MF scan utility. So this is a follow-up clip on the pre previous one. So now in the previous clip we have seen the stitch method. So let's jump into scan gear. Scan gear is an application. Uh, basically, it is works on based on the Twine and WA uh, emulations. So it install on your local desktop and uh, from your local computer you're trying to pull. It basically, it's a pull scanning. So now I have scanned a page from my my scanner, and I could uh, change what other settings I I want to do it, and like uh, where I want to scan. It's a source. Is it area for platen, and what format is supposed to be and what is the size the output uh, has to be and also there is a cropping facilities you can adjust it and uh, it's just a simple method the moment you are okay with the scan just click scan it's gonna scan and save into your respective folders same time the scan gear can be used for advanced mode advanced mode will have much more facilities much more comfortable for the user to use it like uh, full platen want to or you want to crop particular image size for example you are scanning a4 and you want to crop it a5 it's going to be possible or uh, the customs uh, size so you want to do the specific size also it's possible scan a4 and uh, output should be a3 or a5 that is also going to be possible in the advanced mode as you could see the different paper size and resolutions can be given the moment you change the resolution automatically the data size also gets increased and decrease so yeah it, it has a quite uh, powerful options than the basic mode so this is the main feature of scan gear network tool uh, you can do uh, the post scanning um, adjustment and alignments as per uh, the customer requires so like increasing brightness increasing the uh, depth of scanning so that's gonna quite uh, possible with the scan gear application so for this scan gear application uh, it is a different application that needs to be installed prior to install the scan gear application uh, you'll have to have a wia or twin driver of the particular scanner so that's very really, really important so you'll have to install the scanner package you'll have to install the scan gear package and you have to install mf scan utility if you want to connect mf scan utility through scan gear these are the applications to be installed As we discussed, you could see the moment I change the DPI, so the data size also is keep changing. So it is good that if you are really concerned about the quality, then you have to use a higher resolution. If you are really concerned about uh, the number of pages to be scanned, uh, keep your resolution at least at the minimum. Then you trust you just push the scan button. Based on all about settings, it's going to capture the image and put it in your folder. Yeah, this, this is all about uh, MF scan utility along with scan to gear. Now let's talk about another feature called OCR, optical character recognition. In order to test it, in order to prove, I have scanned some uh, image PDF like this and i'm going to do the same thing in ocr then let's see what is uh, powerful of this tool so i kept the image and click ocr now automatically the image uh, imported and it's uh, converted into readable text format uh, this is a notepad document and this document this information has got from this particular pdf so towards your left hand side it's a it's a image pdf it's not editable and right hand side it's editable that's the power of uh, ocr technology so then, then next what you're going to see is email function. Email function is you have to have Outlook uh, to be installed or any other email application to be installed in order to do that. The moment you scan, 
then the file will be sent to the attachment of email so this is all for now thanks for watching see you soon with the next clip